For a second, I thought the phone was going to fall forward. Uh, good morning, happy Tuesday, folks. Um, well, I think it's time we jump into my low, my high, my act of kindness. Um, honestly, my low is that something, a little, something rather inconvenient happened yesterday. Nothing too major, but it kind of, you know, bothered me all day when it happened. Um, my high is, uh, you got to see my folks yesterday, just have some time with them. I mean, I do see them every day, and I do get a lot of time with them, but honestly, this was, this is good. Um, speaking of spending time with them, one thing I like to do is, you know, I watch TV with them, and while, while we were watching football, we were also watching, um, The Voice. Um, it's really good. Like, I know that the auditions are over, and... Let's be honest, after the auditions, no one really cares about them. But some of the performances are really, really good. Not to mention, like, okay, like there is these uh, two girls that are on a Snoop Dogg's team, and when they were singing in the knockouts, Snoop Dogg was like up and down, like dancing and stuff like that. It was awesome. Snoop Dogg is awesome. I mean, I'll tell you what, the day that Snoop Dogg becomes a guest on Hot Ones, you'll know. Because I actually have a reaction plan for when that happens. Maybe it's today. It's probably not going to be today. But, maybe. Um, so I had a good time with my folks yesterday evening. And my act of kindness was... I am the dehumidifier for uh, my dad, and um, that was really about it. Nothing, um, nothing too out of the ordinary happened. So, um, let me go over my NFL uh, notes real fast, or NFL picks. Get my uh, sheet out if I can find it. Okay, so I was nine and four going into yesterday. So the best I could do is 11 and 4, and the worst I could do is 9 and 6. So let's take a look at what happened. Again, I have no idea who won. I mean, I did see a little bit of the game. Um, Tampa. Here's the thing, I probably got Tampa Bay wrong, but I probably got the Chargers right. Oh! Hold the phone. So, I got the Ravens right, but I got the Cardinals wrong. So, one right makes it 10 and 5. I need to check real fast. Yeah, sorry, it's going to yeah, 10 5 right there. Which means 58 plus 10 would be 68. And 5 plus 34 is 39, making my overall total for this year 64 and 39. Or 68 and 39. Darn it. 68 and 39. Okay, good. That, uh, that, uh, that, that's my, uh, Win-loss percentage of uh, this year so far. Okay, let me just double save this file. Yeah, that's what you do. If you want to make sure your files are safe. Um, okay. So, I mentioned Hot Ones earlier. Let's see who this week's guest is. Okay, our first we face Instagram. And the... Shoot, what number of guests is this? Is it the 34th? Uh, I'm not seeing who it is. I'm not seeing who it is. Okay. Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot. I forget what number it is until I actually look this up. Alright, so...
So for season 25, episode 6, the 35th pair, I was, was kind of right, 35th Hot Ones Guest 2024 is Ali Wong. Ooh. Okay, um, Ali Wong is becoming more and more of a household name. But uh, let me look her up real fast. I mean, I know who she is. She's a, I mean, here's the thing. My first experience with, um, with, uh, Ali Wong is literally at least on two separate occasions. She's done two stand-up specials with, um, while she was like six months pregnant or something, which I mean, at the end of the day, it's her body. She's allowed to do whatever she wants. But, I don't know, I didn't find it bad, but something about that just seems slightly off color to me. Not, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's bad, but it was different. Actually, different implies, um, it was something I wasn't used to seeing. That's what it is. It's something that I, um was not used to saying. There's actually, um, well, there's a few things that she's promoting. Um, for starters, she's probably promoting her new staff special single lady. That's on Netflix. I should probably watch that at some point. Um, she could also be promoting her new show, Monsters at Work. Oh, she's a... Okay, um, wait, no, that's, wait, what the, no, no, uh, I'm wrong, Gen Gentry Trout, Gentry Trout versus the Underworld, oh, that's, um, why did I say Monster Work, that's Pixar, uh, Gentry Trout versus the Underworld, is this, uh, new animated show that's coming out on Netflix, it's coming out, like, this December, and it looks really cool, like, Gentry Trout, voiced by Ali Wong, She's going to be like, um, um, uh, oh, um, what the, oh, the name of the title, the title of the show kind of gives away what it is, but, you know, it's one of those, uh, ordinary kid, but takes on the big responsibility of saving the world. I mean, listen, I've seen that on TV hundreds of times in my life. Okay, I wouldn't say hundreds, but definitely a lot. And my phone is off kilter real fast. Hold on. There we go. So, I've seen that a lot with shows like Danny Phantom, American Dragon, Jake Long. Um, even though this character wasn't a kid, technically Jackie Chan Adventures. You know, I've seen that a lot. But I think with this one, because I've seen the trailers for it, and um, it's definitely uh, gearing more towards like the supernatural aspects of trying to save the world, which sounds really awesome. And, uh, ooh, Titmouse is uh, animating it. For those of you who don't know, Titmouse has become a bit of a pedigree in terms of the shows they made over the years. To give you a hint of just the shows they made, that I have watched, they have made, um, or at least worked on, Megas XLR, Avatar The Last Airbender, American Dad, uh, Class of 3000, Afro Samurai, um, Black Dynamite, China, Illinois, um, what shows I've watched? Um, hold on. Oh, uh, ooh, I forgot the free Dick the musical too. Um, anything of recent date? Um, let's see. Looking for something more recent that I've seen that they've done. Uh. I can find it. Um, they worked on a little bit of the revival of Animaniacs. 
Uh... Oh, right. I was looking for it. The Legend of Vox Machina. An inside job. And if I'm not mistaken, they also did. Where is it? I guess when there's another show they did that I know for a fact that. Agent Albus! That's another show I watched. Um. And they. So. The fact that they're working on a Genshi show versus the Underworld. That's a good sign. I mean, the animation is going to be fire. That is definitely going to be the case. Um, all right, they also worked on Invincible. Darn it, I really do need to work. I need to finish watching season two of Invincible. I do. Um, so, right, Ali Wong are hot ones. So, yeah. I mean, she's also been in a lot of other good shows like Paper Girls and Beef and um, BoJack Horseman. Um, she was on OKKO. OK All right. Um, so this is this should definitely be, be this should definitely be a good episode for sure. The fact that you got I mean, I'm sure at least one. I mean, on the one hand, it seems like it'd be too easy of a question to think of for Sean to ask, but again, I mean, Ali Wong's done, by my count, at least two shows on Netflix where she was pretty far in the lot, pretty far along in uh, her pregnancies, and it kind of makes me wonder, like, I mean, again. It's her body, she has the right to do whatever she wants with it. But, of all the things for a pregnant woman to do on stage, to do a, for a pregnant woman to do, stand-up comedy? You know what? If nothing else, it's original. That is, if nothing else, Ali Wong being pregnant doing stand-up comedy? That's actually original. I mean, I'm sure there have been plenty of women who've done it before, but none of the Ali Wong's pedigree, and I'm pretty sure none of them had Netflix specials. And Ali Wong has had, um, four, including the one that's coming out right now. Um... Actually, hold on, what? Okay, um... Uh, hold on. Yep. Okay. At least two. Uh, Baby Cobra and Hard Knock Wife. Which... You know... Baby Cobra... And both of those names totally give away that she's pregnant, by the way. Obviously, Baby Cobra and, you know, knocked. You know, like, knocked up. Which, I honestly never got that saying. Like... Like, sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get anyway. But I'm actually really excited. Ali Wong really is a very funny comedian. Unfortunately, like, here's the thing. There's a lot of comedians that I like and watch and enjoy. I never have the time to watch them all. But the ones I, but I do see them. I do watch them. And... If I feel I have the time to talk about them, I will. So, rest assured, 
we're in for a good episode of Hot Ones this week. I mean, again, it's very clear that she's going to be promoting her new Sam special, Single Lady, which I do believe hinted that she got divorced. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, she's also promoting a Gen G trial versus the Underworld. I think that show's going to be fire. I mean, the fact that... And that's actually kind of messed up. I mean, listen, I get production has its own, like, timelines and stuff like that. But it's very clear they were going with the Supernatural. I get the feeling they probably could have worked on this a little bit faster, and therefore they would have had it ready by, um, before Halloween instead of, you know, December 5th. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, the fact we're getting... I mean, I've seen the trailers for this show. It looks really good. I just wish they made it for Halloween because, you know, it was Supernatural and stuff. Well, I've been bringing a lot of Supernatural stuff lately. Like, those two ghost tours I went on and now this. Like, you know what? It is the season. Tis the season. And, um, you know, I think it was meant to be that way. Speaking of things that are meant to be, um, for those of you who don't know, at some point during the month of, I mean, I listened to the song, to this particular song multiple times throughout the month of Halloween, but right before I end Halloween, right before Halloween ends, like October 31st, the day is just about over, if you went out trick-or-treating, that's all done over with, I'm back home, I always take the time to listen to the Monster Mash, because that song is awesome. Um... You know, it's funny. Um, hold on. I'm just going to look this up real fast and then I'll uh, sign off. Um... Like, you know how more often than not, um, uh, we're coming out with movies about, uh, famous singers and stuff like that? One dream role I personally have always had was that of, uh, Bobby Pickett. Because he was the artist that sang the Monster Mash. And that'd be awesome if I could, how old is this song? 1962. Okay, so in about 38 years, this song will be uh, public access, I believe is what it's called. Or public domain, public domain. Okay, so I hope you all like this video. If you like this video, you can on social media. As always, I have your home news video for all you guys watching your video. We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to you, I wish we get all the news you back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.